Hi, um, this little video is about cubic sequences. Uh, you'll find it easier to understand if you've looked at my previous video on quadratic sequences because this is very much an extension of that idea. Well, there we've got a cubic sequence. Well, um, the nth term of that sequence is of this form, a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. We have to work out the values of a, b, c and d to be able to write down uh, the nth term in that form. Well, that's easy enough. The a is 2, so it's 2n cubed, um, 9n squared, 4n, and uh, take away 10. And we've done it. How have we done it? Well, once again, I've cheated on this because I knew the answer to begin with for this one. But let's work on the same one, showing some working this time. And we're going to be looking at the difference between successive terms. We've got the first difference between the uh, terms of the original series, second difference between those uh, terms, and the third difference between uh, all the second difference values. And you'll notice that the third difference comes to the same thing each time. That's what tells you you're dealing with a cubic sequence. A cubic sequence will always have the third difference coming out the same. Now what's the rule for working out the a value from that? But the a value is always one-sixth of the third difference value. So a sixth of 12 is 2. So that's the n cubed. Now this is the sequence n cubed, sorry, 2n cubed, 2 times 1, 2 times 8, 2 times 27, etc. If we take this sequence away from our original one, we're left with this sequence. And these are the difference patterns for that sequence. And you've noticed that the third difference is zero, because what we're left with, having taken away the cubic term, is just a quadratic sequence. Now, you should remember that the quadratic sequence works with the second difference. You divide the second difference by 2. So the second difference in this sequence is 9. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And so now we've taken that away from the original sequence as well. And we're just left with a simple linear sequence, which has a common difference of 4 and a uh, constant term of minus 10, negative 10. And so we've done it. It's quick and easy once you understand this. Let's, uh, let's do it again. Take a new problem. Let's take a slightly different value. Here we have a third difference of 36. We divide that by 6 to find the a value, so that's 6. Uh, divide the second difference by 2, well that's negative 9, minus 9. The third difference is 5, we just put that in as it is, and now we have to add 11 to get the sequence to work. And we've done it again. Another positive one for luck. This time a sixth of the third difference is 5, that's the a value. The b value is going to be a second, uh, a half of the second value, negative 5. The c value is going to be that, and the constant value, 18. So we've done it. Sequences, of course, uh, could go down as well as up. Let's have a look at uh, this one. 54. Well, divide negative 54 by 8, you get negative 9. 16 divided by 2 is 8, minus 8, negative 8 by itself, and then add 10 to finish off. And we've got our cubic sequence in four sort of fairly simple stages. On paper, this technique, of course, is not quite so straightforward. Uh, but the idea is a, is a good one. Basically, you work out the cubic term, take that away from the original sequence, then the quadratic, and take that away again, and then the linear term, the n term, take that away, and you're left with the constant term. So it's like a successively working back from cubic to quadratic to linear to constant. Now, this applet um, and this uh, video have been made from uh, an applet on waldemass.com. Do go and have a look at it. You can play around at, uh, at your heart's content for free on waldemass.com.